Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Malte Martin and welcome to another handpan tutorial. I started this uh, series a few weeks ago because I just um, love yeah, to teach handpan and to uh, show people how I approach this instrument. Here we do only like little handpan snacks, but in my masterclass and in my membership based studio i'm giving a lot of input on how you can feel your instrument how i approach the instrument i answer your questions in the studio like everything that you want to know i i want to to just deeply share with you how i see this instrument so i would love to see you there and until then we will start with this next video enjoy Today's pattern is called the trans groove, which is also um, featured in my masterclass on Master the Handpan. I want to just shout out Hang Massive because in the retreats I always call it the Hang Massive move and it sounds like this. simple pattern and um, yeah I want to use the same chord structure as last time so that you can connect the 332 pattern with the hang massive or trans groove this is how it works we have our chord progression it's 4 6 3 and 5 1 and 3 two and four this is how it works we always play hand to hand which means that the hands are permanently alternating and on each right strike there is a left strike following first I want to introduce the chord progression again it's four and six three and five one and three want to get comfortable with the chord structure before I start playing this pattern I really want to make sure that I know where my notes are to don't mess up my mind throughout the whole process because I want to have joy while exploring something new and not getting overhand so step by step first I get to know my chord progression and then I start when I'm ready with the video with the tutorial of the trans groove. This is how we do it. The dominant hand goes from the ding to the higher node of the chord. So in the first chord, four, six, it goes from ding to six. And the non-dominant hand always does a strike in between on the lower node of the chord. In this case, the four. So I play ding, four, six, four, ding, four, six, four, ding, four, six, four, ding, four, six, four. This is what I want you to practice now. So that you feel comfortable with this movement and then we go to the next chord. On the next chord, I go from the ding to the five with the dominant hand. And with the non-dominant hand, I play the lower note of this chord, which is the three. So I play ding three, five, three, ding three, five, three. chord third chord I go from the ding to the three now and to the lower no the lower note is played by my non-dominant hand and it 
doesn't matter which finger I'm using. I always use the finger that is most comfortable for me. If I really, if I'm really picky for the sound, I can of course always play the notes only with my fingertips or on, only with my thumb or whatever. But uh, I personally, I just take it as it comes and um, yeah, I'm going for the most comfortable way. So we go to the last chord. We go from the thin to the four, which is four is the higher note of our chord. And in between I play the two. So if we are here, we can combine the, the four chords and make it a full circle. And I will start and you can join me whenever you want. I'm always playing the um, one cycle, one cycle is that. I'm playing four cycles for each chord and then I'm changing to the next chord. One. I played it over years like every day for hours and you can go really really deep um, I just want to give you one or two things that you can do with this pattern there's a lot to, to do but I, I'm really going deep into that with pulley rhythms and everything uh, in my masterclass but here now um, what we can do I always say it we can change the higher note and make it another melody so what I would change, like I, I, what I would choose at first is the next note which comes next to my actual melody note that I was playing. The melody note is the higher note of my chord that I was playing alternating with the ding. So this is what I could do. Instead of this note, I was playing that note. Same, I can do a second chord. Instead of this note, I can play tone three number seven. Same on the third chord. And of course, on the fourth chord as well. If I combine those two melodies, like in one circle, I play the original melody note and on the next full loop I play um, the new melody note or the new note that I was just implementing it sounds like this I can combine them even in the same cycle. So I can do ding four eight four ding four six four ding four eight four ding four six four. Same on the next chord. Ding three seven three ding three five three ding three seven. Like this I can go through all the chords and if I want
want it a bit more percussive, I can just let go of the melody note and just playing with my non-dominant hand the bass note, always the lower note of the chord, and slap the instrument instead of playing the melodious upper note of the chord. And then it sounds like this. everything that we learned in this video and inspire you to do something original, something that comes out of you afterwards. this I hope it gave you something some new input some some new inspiration and yeah let me know in the comments how you like this series and check out my masterclass check out my membership program I see you in one week for the next handpan snack tutorial here on this channel enjoy this day bye bye